what's up guys this is uh we're currently doing this on stream i damn uh, yeah we're currently doing this on stream we're gonna be reading the the twab for this week um hopefully i'll post it either today or tomorrow we'll see but let's just get right into it this is mostly going to talk about sources of heroes the trailer we already did i should have that video up by now uh big party in the tower isn't the only thing that's going on evil levanta returns bringing new armor for hunter sightings and warlocks to earn as you upgrade your sets you will once again be able to earn some magnificent white clothes to add adorn your armor to adorn your armor with if you have a taste for the elements eververse will also offer universal ornament bundles for purchase which will shine brightly with clothes that reflect your equipped subclass we'll see i don't know very full rundown of sources of heroes uh and everything coming make sure to check out the seasonal event page on bungie.net which we definitely will i'm personally getting excited for fun and, and for a funny shotgun that will be available it's not new it's it's a reskin bro that's clearly retro future whatever whatever it's called that one shotgun next week has been large it doesn't matter all right so basically uh this is just the hard mode for Vogue is coming out on July 6th, which is literally in five days. That's pretty cool for the people who will care about that type of stuff. I'm not trying to be negative. I genuinely mean that. Um, how do you enter? When you when signing in next Tuesday, Vault of Glass will offer a master difficulty option to launch for you and your fire team. While there is no minimum power, power requirement to enter, enemies will be at 1350, so you will want to earn some pinnacle power and raise your artifact levels before attempting a run. What can you earn? You can earn this thing right here. And it also is the final thing you need for Fate Breaker, the raid seal. It also talks about time lost weapons that at the end of the two uh, perks slots, you can actually have two other slots, uh, two other perks, which is pretty cool, I guess. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Not like saying like, oh, I think that's too good. I don't think that's good. Like... I don't know. On uh, maybe on some weapons, on uh, maybe on some other ones, no. But I, I don't know. I'm not feeling that. I like at all. Uh, we'll see. Complete vault. Of, I mean, it gives you more chances to get like the god roll you want. I guess. Complete com complete vault of glass challenges in master. I'm, I don't care. I don't do this. But feel free to read it. Just pause the video. Um, what's cool is they're also doing like weekly stuff. So like weekly, you can get like an armor piece that has like a high arm, uh, stat roll and a specific weapon to go for. That's pretty cool, I guess. Other than that, I really don't care about this. Um, mostly because I don't, I don't do raids. Mostly because I don't have a clan. But yeah. So this is the part that I was just like, I need to make a video. So shifting sands mid season sandbox update. Over the few, few, or uh, over, uh, over the last few seasons, we've seen. Some pretty big changes to the Destiny 2 sandbox. Aggressive hand cannons jumped into the spotlight of PvP. Rocket launchers became an awesome option for PvE content. Thank you. Thank you. That is actually a good thing. Dead Man's Tail start started whistling in the wind and much more over the last few months. The team has been working to prepare a mid-season sandbox pass much larger than the ones we've shipped in the past to give you all the details. Weapon feature, feature lead Chris Proctor has once again. So let's just... Oh, okay, hold on. So without further ado, the big ticket items for PvP are no surprises, shotguns, 120 uh, hand cannons, and Dead Man's Tail combined. These dominate all forms of PvP, particularly trials. We've also been getting large amounts of feedback about special weapon usage in the Crucible, and this will be the first te step towards addressing these players' concerns. <laughs> okay, we can't forget about Sleeper Simulant and PvE too. Okay. Intended special weapon roles in PvP. Most special weapons should have one situation where they, when they're dominant, where they're a dominant choice. If you cop outside of the, outside of this, you should be at a disadvantage. Fair. Moving towards these roles is a work in progress. Some weapons are not where we want them to be, and we've ha made some changes in season of the splicer that we expect to need to need more adjustment later on. Note that special ammo abundance in PvP distorts these roles, allowing players that would wouldn't poss be possible that wouldn't be possible otherwise is what we're looking to address okay let's talk about some weapons i don't know what you're talking about sir all right here's here are the roles we intend each special weapon to fill 
Sniper rifles engaging at long range with aiming skill when not already under fire. Shotguns engaging at point blank range using a using skill at movement or positioning to get close enough to get one or two hit elim elimination. <sighs> Fusion rifles engage at mid range but with careful positioning and pre charging around cover required for success. Trace rifles strong at close to mid range at the cost of not being a one hit elimination making it possible to be outplayed by skillful primary users. <laughs> I I question that one because like trace rifles, it's like a constant uh, beam of damage, which means that you're just doing this a lot. <laughs> uh, grenade launcher is useful for weakening an opponent, getting damage around corners with bounces or getting a one hit elimination with direct impact at the cost of projectile travel time and being in a bad place if you miss your shot with a single round magazine. Shotguns are very dominant in PvP by any measure and don't allow much counterplay with primary weapons, particularly close range primaries like sidearms and SMGs. We see frequent player feedback about their prevalence in PvP activities and how they make it difficult to use various archetypes that otherwise feel good against players without shotguns. We want them to excel in a narrow niche, a narrower niche when than they do currently, so this change aims to re retain the reliability reliable one hit elimination but at close range and push them to be slightly rangier than currently at getting two hit eliminations as with our intent for all special weapons if a player is caught out of a out of position with a shotgun they should be at a clear disadvantage with the ability to quickly follow up rising and following up rising in importance we expect faster firing shotguns to eat into aggressive shotguns dominance and other special weapons to be more viable Increased or increased aggressive frame shotgun cone angle from 4.0 to 4.25 degrees. Reduce shotgun damage fall off minimum by two. Ooh, slug shotguns are unaffected by this. Change. That's good. Um, we're adjusted. I don't, I'm just gonna read what they're fucking doing. It's too much talking. Reduce precision damage multiplier from 1.8 to 1.6, preventing a 10% bonus from allowing two tapping in pvp that's good reducing aim assist minimum fall off distance by one to two uh my head always goes to miles <laughs> depending on the range set reduce damage minimum fall off distance by one this reduces their damage fall off advantage over other hand cannons to one so usually this one before this okay we also have a few changes to perks Drop mag can no longer roll on new weapons of weapons. Will will have functionality changed later. There's a change coming next season that requires adjusting this and some perks with similar functionality. More on that later. Okay, cool. So just make everything you know whatever. Pl pulse monitor fix an issue where the handling bonus w was no longer applying. Uh, rewind rounds fix an issue where the perk would not trigger if the last shot of the magazine missed, or if the player reloaded another weapon before firing the final shot we've seen the complaints that the detonation on kills doesn't feel like that reliable or impactful so this has been updated with the same cons consistency and speed fixed as dragonfly uh, removed hit fire damage fall off scaler was 1.8 to match zoom aim assist cone angle hip fire hip skull sc oh my god reduced from 1.5 to 1.2 uh Receives frequent critical feedback from players in the crucible of the string, but not worrying, worryingly so on controller. We're keeping the fast firing. Yeah, like all I all I ever want <clears throat> is reduce the hip fire aim assist. Like don't don't kill it because you would kill the catalyst. But like just I don't want to just like aim and then just get kills everywhere. Like it's ridiculous. Uh, so this hopefully this is a good change. Uh. I just, we'll have to wait and see. Sleeper Simulate didn't receive any custom tuning when we updated linear fusion rifles, but because it, it has a higher, motherfucker, bro. Uh, 
but because it has much higher body damage than other LFRs, it didn't benefit as much as intended from the global buff to precision damage sca scaler. Fix an issue where the sim sleeper simulant was benefiting less than other LFRs from Season of the Splicer LFR precision damage buff. Total buff is now 16.5 compared to the 15 buff other LFRs are received. Yeah. All right, so future stuff that might be happening. Fusion rifles. We've been wanting to tackle subfamily differentiation for a while, so we're planning on a large rework of fusion rifles. Changes to fusion rifle perks and mods and custom tuning to most exotic fusion rifles. Is Vex Mythical Class a fusion rifle? Let's say yes. Breach grenade launchers. With, with, a, with the above shotgun changes, we expect other special weapons to increase in usage and believe that grenade launchers have the potential to become more frustrating to play against as they become slightly more common so we're planning on a small change that specifically touches prime priming and cleaning up targets scout rifles and hand cannons players have wanted these weapons to be a bit more efficient in pve for some time we found that minor enemies in high-end activity take too many shots to kill with these weapons that is indeed correct machine guns in pve through playtesting and player feedback, we, f we found they're not doing their intended job well enough, so we're planning a noticeable change for Season 15. That's good. Special um, ammo economy, particularly in PvP. While the above changes to shotguns should help tone down aggressive uh, frames a bit, we've got a couple of small changes planned that should reduce the amount of special ammo floating around to a degree and have some changes in mind in case they're needed. Oh no. Oh no, 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 don't touch my baby. Anarchy has done too much too well for too many years without even counting the boost it's gotten in this season, which is due, which is to the sweet grenade launcher artifact mods. So we're making changes that make it great at a couple, at a couple of rolls rather than being the jack of all grenade launchers. No, we want to make, we want to give players more reason to use pre exotic primary weapons in high end PDE content and have changes coming to help this. I don't, that's not going to help and more for the distant future we keep a close eye on special weapons and we'll make adjustments once we see how they perform in the wild particularly fusion rifles and grenade launchers we have an idea of what we need to adjust at these times shake off blah, blah, blah. Is it a, okay uh, is that it another patch note preview alongside the sandbox update we have a slew of bugs go oh this is just bugs Known issues for Souls of Heroes 2021? Are you serious? No. Oh, okay. I was about to say, like, bro, are you serious right now? <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Um. Earlier this or earlier this week, it was remarkable. Or it was remarkably warm, and our neck of the woods felt like a big. I don't care about this. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm, I mean, I don't really care at this point. Change whatever you want. Uh, I may be a bit negative because this stream has just been so stressing, stressing for me. Because like, uh, Destiny is just like not fun right now for me. Uh, with Gambit and Iron Banner, and now like dying from a random rock in a, a strike. I'm just like, bro, like, what the. F whatever let me know your thoughts and comments below guys if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below i thank you all for coming up to this point and i will see you guys later